I'm Romo. On this episode of Romo's Recipes, we're smoking a brisket. Today, we're gonna to put a beef brisket on our wood fire smoker. What we're gonna start off with is, it's about a 13 pound brisket now. We trimmed most of the heavy fat off of it, but I like a little bit on there to create a nice bark on both sides, and it adds some flavor. There is a marble filling, or a, some marble inside the, uh, the brisket, so it's gonna create some juiciness. But we are going to inject it and we are going to use a half a cup of Cosmos Reserve Blend Injection with two cups of chicken broth. And then we are going to add a couple of tablespoons of Cosmos Moisture Magic. And that way when we inject, we are not gonna dry this bad boy out at all. So, we'll just add a little bit of the Moisture Magic and then we'll mix it up and we will start injecting in just a minute. And now we're gonna inject as much as we can throughout the whole entire brisket. And we'll keep it tender throughout the cook because it's a very long cook on the smoker. It's a very low and slow operation, but this helps to keep it moist and juicy throughout the entire cook. All right, we've got this whole thing injected and this is gonna be good now we are going to put some rub on it and we are going to use some of Cosmos SPG and some of the Texas beef. And some of the Cosmos Dirty Bird. And this is gonna create a really, really nice bark on your brisket. Let's do the other side and then we'll get it on the grill. Okay, we have a nice fire on our wood fire barbecue pit. And we are now, have this all seasoned and injected. We are gonna put it fat side down on our smoker, a little ways away from the direct flame, cause it's gonna be low and slow for an awfully long time. So we're gonna seal this up. And then Let her set and we'll check on it in a little while, but it's gonna be a good three hour smoke to get a good nice bark and we check it and then we'll wrap it and keep going. Okay, we're going to check this now. It has been on for about three hours. As you can see, you got a nice mahogany color. So we are gonna remove it and we're going to take it in, we're going to wrap it, and then we're going to put it back on the grill here in just a little bit. Okay, we have got a really nice bark on our brisket. We are now going to put it and wrap it in foil, okay? So what we need to do is we need two cans of beef consomme. So we're pouring two cans of beef consomme, and then we pour about a half a bottle of Cosmo's Famous Brisket Mop. All right, and we're gonna mix this all up. Eh, a little bit more than a half a bottle, but that's okay. So, get this all mixed up. And now, gotta make a little bit of a boat here. And we're really gonna wrap this to where our juices stay in our foil, okay? 
so. Now we are going to pour this over. Give this a nice coating and then we'll put it back on our grill. Okay, now we've put our brisket back on. We've got a pretty warm flame now. We're gonna subside it and close it off a little bit because this is another low and slow cook. And we're gonna set this now for a few more hours and then check on it. We want an internal temp of about 210 or better on our brisket to get good and soft. So she's wrapped and in the smoker. And we'll check on it in just a little bit. Okay, we just checked our internal temp and we're at about 212 degrees, which is absolutely perfect and it feels great. So we gotta get it on our tray and get it off of the smoker. Now we're gonna bring it in, open it up, let it vent for a little bit. Okay, now we are going to open our foil. We're gonna let this vent out. And if you could see, this looks tremendous. So now we're going to let cool for just a minute, let it vent, and then we're going to rewrap, and it has to rest for as long as you can take it because it smells so good and you want to tear into it, but we recommend that you let it rest for about an hour. And then we'll slice it up and do the taste test. Okay, we are now opening this up, and the moment of truth has come. So you're going to, man, is this nice. You just feel it. It's so good. Okay. So we're going to pull it out of our foil and put it on a fresh sheet to cut it. Now, this looks very, very good. So we're gonna cut into it. And you can see we have a nice smoke ring in here. Beautiful smoke ring. And we'll get a couple of slices here. We'll check it out. It's nice and soft, that is for sure. Wow, nice and juicy, very tender, and absolutely perfect. And folks, if you like what you see here on our channel, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell also so you'll get a notification every time we post a new video. So this is a beef brisket on the wood fire barbecue smoker. It turned out absolutely awesome. And the recipe is down below. This is Romo saying thank you for watching. We'll see you again real soon.